that was number eight. Number nine, we're looking at what is the measure of PQR in a quadrilateral um, PQRS. So number nine here. Number nine, yep. So I have some type of uh, quadrilateral. I don't know if I, I should redraw this here. Yeah, maybe I will. I have a line here. Another line here. Line here. Okay, so I have some type of quadrilateral. This here is S, R, P, Q, and these sides are parallel. Or S, R is parallel to this, but these two sides are the same length here. So this is 115 here. And I want the angle of PQR. I want the angle of this guy over here, right? So if I want the I want, if I want the angle over here, and I know that these two sides here are the same, so you can actually we can actually do something called an extension. So we can actually extend these lines here, and I'll I'll see if I can draw this nicely here. We can extend this line because again lines kind of go have an infinite length here. So we can extend this line. And as you can see, this line here is 180 degrees, right? So this here is, if I wanna find the measure of this angle here, this theta is simply just 180 minus the interior angle, which is 115 degrees. And this here would be 65 degrees, right? So this theta would be here, this angle here would be 65 degrees. But it's asking us, our problem here is asking us what is this angle here, right? So knowing this here, 65 and 115 here, we can actually solve for these guys over here. So let's see what they did here. So again, they, they kind of extended this guy here as well, right? So they did, um, they did, uh, oh, they actually, they actually extended it into a Pythagorean theorem question. So this, this is another way of looking at it as well. Um, you can actually write a, you can, again, you can draw kind of a right angle or make a right angle like so. And this here would be a right angle. This here would be 65. And this one here would be 90. You can also do the exact same thing here. You can make a right angle as well. And then you can also use Pythagorean theorem to figure out this um, this uh, this uh, this angle as well. So let's see what they wrote here. SP equals, so this is again, um, they did here at Pythagorean theorem. So they want to solve for one of these sides here. So they're doing SO plus OP here. They want to solve for this side here. And as you can see, they did two Pythagorean theorems. So they did one, one on this guy here and one on this guy here. So because, but we know that here SP and, uh, sorry, SP, SR and PQ are parallel. So therefore SO and R equals RT, right? So these two lengths here are the same. So therefore we can say that SP and RQ have the same length. So these guys here have the same length. And we know, actually know that because of the, uh, the dash here, right? So knowing that, then what we can do is, this is actually really, really complex as what they did here. But um, if I, if you know that, if you know the, basically the area, the, the intersecting angles, you can actually figure out that this is the same angle as this guy here. But I, this is a lot more math than needed to figure out this guy here. If you just know the sum of the interior angles, you could already solve for this guy here because you know that this angle here is 115 as well because both of these sides are the same. But I'm just going to check their math just to, to see what they did here. So they did that. Okay, so this is correct. One and two, so they did substitution. Uh, therefore, SPO and RQT are congruent. Okay, so these guys are congruent like we we know before because these two sides are, uh, we know that side-side angle here are, 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 are in play. So both of these guys are congruent, which is good. And they figure out the, they figure out my angle as well. 65 degrees is the angle here. So knowing that, then you can simply say 180 minus 65 is 115. So this is actually really, really, really complex as to how they did it. I personally don't like this method. It's actually a bit more conv convoluted here. So I'm going to say, so again, I, know, I solve for this angle here, right? 65 degrees. And because these guys here, I know that these guys here are um, the same here. So therefore this angle here must also be 65 degrees. And therefore I can solve for this theta here. So this theta, or actually I'll, I'll make this angle alpha here. So angle alpha here is simply just 180 minus uh, the 65 degrees, and this here is simply just 115. So this is going to prove that this angle here, PQR, 
is 115 degrees. So therefore, we can write that angle PQR equals 115 degrees here. So this here is a very, very convoluted solution for such a problem. Again, if you know the, um, if you know the uh, sum of the interior angles, you can very, very easily solve for this problem here. Um, you don't need to use substitution in Pythagorean theorem. You're just extending um, the problem here. So solution is correct. Good analysis. Uh, good analysis, however, however convoluted. Con that's how you spell convoluted. Convoluted. Uh, if we know the sum of the interior angles, if we know if we know that the the uh, interior plus plus exterior angles equals 180 degrees, and we know that SP equals RQ, then um, then the same must the same angles must exist on the other side of the quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. There we go. So, so therefore, so therefore, you can say angle PQR equal to 115 degrees. So, let me say solution here is correct, but again, very, very convoluted way of solving this problem here.